let's change the visual design of an application in one single click. Today I want to show you one interesting thing that we can do today with AI as in change the visual design of application in one single click. I will do it by creating a calculator, not something very fancy, simple one, but the thing I will use the application called Ray to develop it and then I will ask it to change the visual design based on my preference. First of all, we have here a very simple prompt, act like a UI designer, you need to design a simple calculator application, visual style modern, color palette free to choose and typography free to choose. Now I will copy this one here and go to the tray to start to develop the application. I open tray that basically it's an application like cursor where you can generate code with AI, no need to write the code by yourself. I mean, you can do it, but with simple prompts, you can explain to the software what you want to build. It's very easy. Let's see how we do it. First of all, I created the folder in my computer. I called it calculator. And then I select it from here, just open folder. I select the calculator folder, open, and that's all. Then you can select chat or builder. Chat, it's like chat GPT. You write a prompt, it's give you a result and you can apply it. Builder, it's a little bit more advanced. You send the prompt and then it's make everything by itself. For me now, it will be better. I don't know how to code. So for me, I trust the machine that will do the work for me. I will paste here the prompt that we saw before, send it, and now it will start to generate the code. It can take time, but it's much more faster than develop it by hand. You can see now it start to create the files and add information. In the meantime, it's created the file. Just let you know that you can select from here if you want to work with Cloud 345 Sonat or with OpenAI 4.0. So you can select between two models, 4.0 or Cloud 345 Sonat. And the most important thing that I didn't say that the software is free, so you can use it as you want. Okay, it's finished. I will click here on Accept All and all the information now added to the folder. You can see here three files. I will open now the files in my browser and let's see the result. You can see here, this is the result of the calculator. Just see that it's work well. One plus one equal to 5.5 equal 25. Okay, work, it's work well. By the way, I like the visual design. Okay, I ask it modern, look great. I will back now to my list of styles and here let's take no brutalism. I open now tray and I will take the application. Great, please change the visual design to no brutalism style. Let's send and see what happened. I believe it will be easy for the machine because it needs to change only the CSS file. Not big issue for the AI. Okay, it's finished. I need to accept here everything. It explained me also what it does, but the visual will explain us better. Let's move to the application. I will click down on refresh. That's amazing. I mean, oh, wow, it's super good. Look, it's no brutalism. It's designed well. I mean, it's a very simple application, but wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it, it surprised me. I mean, I didn't know that it will be so good. Okay, okay. Let's try another one. I like this stuff. Okay, go here. Let's ask for flat design, something simple. Again, open tray. Today I'm very lazy. So I open here the prompt, paste it here. Let's take this flat design here. Let's stand here. Send. Let's wait one moment. See the magic. Okay, it's finished. I will click on accept all. Let's see what is changed for us. I am here in the calculator, hit refresh. Wow, flat design, I mean, amazing. It's, I don't know how to explain how difficult it was to make this, all these changes before, if you want to move to one style to another style, but here it's, it's only one prompt. That's, wow. Uh, let, let's try something a little bit more complex. Let's uh, try glass morphism because it's apply a little bit more visual style and I don't know if it will be able to do it well, but let's see if it will work well. Here and try again, glass morphism. Again, I'm very lazy. I will copy the prompt. Also the prompt works, so why change it? Glass morphism style. Okay, perfect. Let's hit and see how it's changed. I must say that I really like the, this time that we can design, develop applications in so easy way. I, I mean, it's amazing. Two years ago, or one year ago, I didn't thought that we were able to do it in so easy way. Okay, change everything. Let's see the result. Let's refresh. Wow. I didn't thought that it, it will be able to do glass morphism, but uh, it's very nice. Wow. That's, that's very cool. Okay, before I finish the video, I want to test another thing that's come to my mind. I want to add a button below here and ask the program to develop something that I will be able to click and then move between the styles. I don't know if it's possible to do, but let's see if it will be able to do it. I write a simple prompt. Perfect. I want now add a button below the calculator when I click on it. It will shuffle the visual design between four styles, no brutalism, glass morphism, dark mode, and flat design. Let's see if it's able to do it. 
I will copy the prompt, move to tray, I paste here the prompt, send, and let's see if it will be able to develop it. I believe it will take a little bit time to develop all it because it is necessary to add a lot of CSS information here, but I'm sure it's much more faster than do it manually by hand. It's finished everything. As you can see here, it's had a lot of lines of code, 228, and here a little bit, uh, 12 lines in pop.js. I accept all the changes and let's see what it's bring to us. Here is the page before I will hit refresh. And then we have a button below switch style. It's also adapt the style of the button to the calculator. Click. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Wow. It's so crazy. Look how the CSS change. Wow. So. I'm very excited about it. To be honest, I didn't thought that it will be able to do it. And wow. So with that, we'll finish for today. If you have some ideas or you want for me that I will do some videos, just let me know in the comments. If something is not clear, please let me in the comments. And thank you a lot for watching this video. That's all for today. If you need a product designer for your product or training about AI and product design, contact me. My information in the description. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.